All right, folks, if you love to play poker and you also love to hang out on the back patio, uh, I'm going to show you a great way to make some outdoor backyard patio poker chips uh, that you don't have to worry about. Uh, so, you know, if these things get dropped in the grass or a uh, dog chews one up or a kid walks away with one, no worries. Uh, at any rate, so let's, uh, let's show you how to do this. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is collect a bunch of these uh, six-pack carriers. Um, and... If you drink beer, uh, that shouldn't be too hard of a task. Uh, you just might have to do it for a while. So we've got a whole box full here that we've saved up. And the first thing we want to do is sort these out by color to figure out uh, what we've got and how many of each one. So we're going to do that real quick. All right, so now that i got all these laid out, I can see I've got more black than I've got any other color. Then I've got white, um, silver, blue, purple, yellow, uh, all different colors. Uh, and I've got these laid out. Kind of like this as far as how many uh, I've got. And what I did was I made up a little chart. Okay, so that, that way I can keep track of what color these are or what values I want them to be as I get ready to cut them up. And you can see um, the ones that I've got the most of, those will be the lowest denomination. And we'll keep going up. Um, now there's a couple things. I've got blue over there. It's dark blue and then I got this light blue. Um, this might get confusing as what a blue chip is. So I'm just going to throw it away. Okay, same thing with this color. I've only got one of these. Um, not much use, I'll toss that out. Okay, so that's gonna leave me with this color selection and this will go all the way up to um, 10,000 uh, for the green. So this would be one, five, 10, 25, 50, 100, 250, 500, 1,000, and then um, 5,000 and then 10,000. Okay, so once we got that decided, now we got to cut these up. Now, I will tell you, there's a couple options as far as cutting these goes. Um, and a, a good pair of, of kitchen shears will work just fine. A bad pair of kitchen shears uh, will make this job a nightmare. Okay, so if you got a good pair, um, they'll cut up pretty easy. Um, you won't have too much of a problem. Again, a bad pair of kitchen shears will make this job horrible. Now, even better is if you got a good pair of tin snips, okay, this makes the job um, a lot easier still, okay? And if you've got a small um, bandsaw uh, out in the garage, uh, that's a good way to cut these up too. Uh, it makes uh, quick work of these, um, although a little bit more noisy and a little bit more messy. Uh, but again, a good pair of tin snips will work wonderful to cut these up. All right, now once you got these things cut apart, you're going to want to stack them, right? Because that's what you do with poker chips. Now, I will tell you, that when you go to stack these, all these line, all these uh, voids here have to line up. Otherwise, they don't stack. I don't know if you can see that. See, it, it doesn't go on there. But when you get it in the right place, it will drop down and, and you can stack them. Now, this particular um, design, okay, it was blue, but it's different than these blue. Um, the design is different. And you can see this one has ridges and stuff on it. These don't stack. They won't stack. So this is going to go in the garbage. So make sure that before you spend a lot of time cutting on these, uh, cut the first two off and make sure that those stack together. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's just going to be a mess and, and you're not going to want that. So any, any of these that you get that don't stack, throw them out. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're either going to want to make a cheat sheet like this, maybe get out of the computer, uh, add some uh, some graphics and some dollar signs and make these, uh, put all your different words in the matching color or something, make it nice and fancy, print up enough one of these uh, to where you got one for every player and uh, hand them out or maybe even tape them to your patio uh, uh, table so that everybody's got them. Or what you can do is get you a paintbrush and get you some paint and actually paint the numbers on these. Now if you're going to do that, make sure you got some contrasting colors. So get you some yellow or white for your dark color chips. 
it gets you some black or dark blue or something for your light colored chips and uh, and you can paint the values on there now if you got somebody in the family that's an artsy fartsy type give them to these they can paint some little flowers or some designs or maybe put you know your name or something on them um, you know make them fancy if if they want to sit around and and doodle on these things uh, and while they're putting the the values on them uh, so anyway just some options there for you as far as keeping track of what the values of the different chips are so it doesn't have to be real fancy Again, this is a backyard patio chip, so um, we're not trying to make them look like they're from a casino. We just want to remember what the chips are. But again, if you make a good little uh, cheat sheet, uh, and everybody, everybody will get used to what they are eventually anyway. Alright, so you can see we've got all our different uh, chips here painted up. Now, uh, the blue and the purple at night, uh, those might be hard to tell, which of course uh, uh, reinforces maybe painting the numbers on those. But uh, the other thing th that you got to remember is your color is going to be based off of the the uh, six pack holders that you collect. So you're going to uh, determine your nominations by which ones you have the most of to the least of. Uh, so that the most of is your lower denomination, and the least of is your highest. Uh, and your colors may vary. Um, differently than mine. At any rate, uh, we got some more painting to do and uh, who knows I may have uh, more than one set here um, so uh, maybe would make a nice Christmas or birthday gift for the uh, poker player uh, that you love. Um, something handcrafted that they might be able to cherish and, uh, and use on the back patio. Alright, one last tip here for you. These I did with the paintbrush um, and these I did with the Sharpie. So uh, anything that's dark or that's light color that you can use a dark color paint on, you could just use a Sharpie. It's much quicker, uh, much easier. You don't have to wait for it to dry. And uh, some of the colors like red here, you can see I did that in yellow, but it looks just as good in black. Maybe even a little bit better. So uh, again, if you got a Sharpie, you might even use a, a paint pen. Uh, get you a white or silver paint pen um, for the other ones. I haven't tried that, but uh, that might work pretty good too. And, uh, and lastly, you know, you don't have to use these outside. You could use these inside. Uh, if you can't afford a uh, clay poker chip set, uh, this might be a good economical way for you to get some, uh, some poker chips. All right, so once you got all these done, um, suggest wrapping a rubber band around them. And then uh, you can put them in a, a plastic tote like this. Uh, these are lightweight, um, real lightweight, and um, makes it great for camping or towing around in the uh, the RV or the camper or something because you don't add a lot of weight um, to your camper which is important. Plus uh, when you go to set up you got them in here they're all organized they're all uh, rubber banded so they don't come apart and uh, and then make it easy to get these out and start using them.